Hey guys, in today's video, we're going for a drive in this. A 1994 Vauxhall Corsa V. Welcome to the first video of 2023 and a happy new year. The reason we're taking the Corsa for a drive today is because the owner was using it shortly before Christmas and it overheated. Now, she doesn't know why it overheated. There was no reason for it to. It didn't appear to be any reason for it. So we're going to take it out and see if it does actually overheat. Now apparently, she was driving it as normal. She pulled into a queue to get a drink. While she was sitting in the queue, she noticed the temperature gauge had climbed. So she managed to get out of the queue, opened the bonnet, let the car cool down, went inside for a drink instead. And then once it had cooled down, she took it home. So I've got the car today, just to take it out for a drive, see if it is actually overheating or getting warm. As you've just seen, we've just got the car fired it up from cold. The temperature gauge of the engine is currently sitting on zero. This car's only been running for a couple of minutes to be watching this video for. B, registered first on the road in 1994. It's a 1.4 fuel injection with an automatic gearbox. Now I know a lot of you out there are going to hate that idea, but for the owner it works out extremely well. When she got it, it had a genuine 30,000 miles on it from you. She's had it a number of years and it's now got 49,000 miles on it. Well, 49,500 miles on it, to be exact. A bit windy outside today. Oh, sorry if you can hear any wind noise. It's not the quietest of, the quietest of cars when you're sitting in it driving. but it does run extremely well. well the damage gauge is starting to creep up. We've been out for about six, seven minutes, something like that. And normally, when the car's out and she's using it, the temperature gauge on the dashboard never seems to get beyond 90 degrees. So I'm thinking that that's what I'm expecting to do today. Just get to about 90 degrees and just sit there. Everything's going fine at the moment. Of course, with it overheating, there's a number of things that could cause it to overheat. Things like a blown head gasket, lock radiator, seized water pump, snapped fan belt, or even just a 
split our perished hose. When I brought the car home, I did check the oil, and it's still clear. There's no water in it. It doesn't look like mayonnaise. There also doesn't seem to be any evidence of any oil in the water either. certain it's not a blown head gasket. The temperature gauge now is sitting probably at about 40 degrees, so it's climbing up. All the temperatures on this, it's never been one of those cars that heats up really quickly, gets to a temperature and sits there. It takes a time in warming up. Seat in the engine, we're about 50 60 degrees at the moment. Yeah, put the heater on, and we've got instant heat. As you can see, it's driving fine. So, I don't think there's going to be any issues with it. I've also checked the fan belt, obviously, that's still on. All the hoses seem okay. Presumably the water pump's working fine, and the uh, the coolant level is where it should be as well. So it looks like there's nothing to worry about. Of course, the other thing that can cause a car to overheat is if there's a problem with the engine fan and you're sitting in traffic, or sometimes if it's just one of those really hot days and you're moving driving slowly. Obviously a couple of days before Christmas wasn't one of those really hot days. But other than that, it seems fine. Acceleration is really good, running smooth. Yeah, so the temperature gauge has reached temperature now. Feel hot air coming from the heating, from the blowers. Oh, incidentally, for some strange reason, and I don't know why people do this, but for some strange reason, she's called this Cyril. We're just coming up to a red light. So we'll see what happens while we're sitting here waiting for this to change to green. Yeah, for some reason she's caused the car Cyril, so welcome to a drive in Cyril the Corsa. Why? Right, so we're sitting here, the heat goes on, it's blowing hot air, temperature gauge is sitting level. Obviously the engine's running, we're in, not, we're in, uh, well we're not in a queue, but we're at a, at a traffic light, a red traffic light. Temperature gauge doesn't seem to be interested in moving higher at all. And here we go. Well, from the way she described her journey to us, we've just been out. Done a similar journey conditions wise on the road and traffic. And this is absolutely fine. car, or Cyril, if you prefer, is running perfectly well, no problems at all. Of course, the only thing we haven't done yet is get onto a bit of open road. With a higher speed limit. So we'll go and try that now.
Traffic's certainly building up a little bit. Turn those fans off because it's uh, it's really warm in here now, which is absolutely lovely on a day like this. It's freezing cold outside. It's really windy, but here in the car, I'm nice and warm. Right, so it's in this next corner, and uh, that'll put us onto a, a road with a bit of a higher speed limit. We'll get my foot down. See if that makes any difference to the temperature. Right, see what this does. identically the journey she did. We've done the driving, various speeds, 20, 30, 40 zones, got into a 70 zone, sat at 55 for a bit, temperature, temperature gauge seems nice and sitting there quite happily, nice and comfortable, but just nudging 90 degrees now. Now the only other thing that she did that I haven't done yet get into the queue at the drive through to get a drink. So I think what I'll do when I get back home, pull up into the driveway, sit in the car for a couple of minutes, 
with the engine running. Keep an eye on the temperature gauge. See if it starts to climb. Well, the fan is spinning on the engine, so the water pump's working. It would appear that there's nothing wrong with the car. sitting on 90 degrees. Of course I won't stop pull up in the drive. I'll be able to take the camera and show you that as well. Actually while we're heading back home, if you've enjoyed this video, me just driving around, chatting about the car, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, if there's anything you want to know about the car, or any help maybe you can give with regards to why it may have overheated, when everything on the car seems perfectly normal, leave a comment below. If you'd like to join me for a drive in one of my cars, leave a comment below, let us know. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe share see so if we can get the channel to continue growing speaking of the channel growing I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to the new subscribers that I gained over the festive period brilliant to have you here and if you're watching this video today and it's your first time watching one of my videos have a look in the back catalogue I think there's about 160 videos That will be something there to entertain you. Right, now we're nearly back. Let's just pull around into the, the area where I live. Park up in the drive. Sit for a couple of moments with the engine running. Let's see if we start to overheat. You know, it would be a really pleasant day, I would say, today, if it wasn't for all the wind. Now, I'm assuming that as she was sat in the queue of a drive through that she sat in the queue with the engine running and maybe with a car in drive. So we'll sit here for a few minutes with the car in drive to see if the gauge starts to climb at all. Now as you can see, I've been sat here for about three or four minutes. The temperature gauge has started to climb above 90. It's nowhere near overheating yet though. seem to be sitting there at about 92, 93. So I don't really think there's an issue. I mean, obviously I'm sat stationary, cars in gear. I'll try putting it in neutral. Seems to be absolutely fine. It does look on there as though it's a little bit higher.
Yeah, so we are climbing a little bit, but then we are sitting stationary. Let's try the old trick of putting the heater on. you can hear me over the top of the blower is going. I've got the heater on level 3. That seems to be bringing the temperature down a little bit. So I would say everything seems fine. So as you can see, having the heater blowers on is bringing the temperature gauge down. Now it is a bit windy, but hopefully you can hear me. And if you can see down there, the fan belt's definitely still on. The water level in the water bottle is where it should be. And if we pull the oil dipstick, Hopefully, as you can see, that's just oil. It doesn't look on camera, although that is just oil. There's no mayonnaise in there at all. So, apart from being scruffy under the bonnet, everything looks fine. Well, everything certainly seems to be okay. Oil's, the oil's fine, there's no water in it, there's no oil in the water, the water's at the right level, the fan belt's still on, everything seems to be working, the heaters are working fine, the car behaved perfectly whilst we're out on the road, as you saw. So, as far as overheating's concerned, it must have just been one of those things. Obviously, I'll get the one, keep an eye on the temperature gauge in future, which is driving around, just to make sure that uh, nothing else is going to happen, and if it does, we'll just have to revisit it back in the future at some point. For now, though, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, Consider subscribing to the channel where you'll see a whole lot more stuff on here throughout the rest of the coming year. And we'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.